banging rock and roll. It hasn't stopped. It's just a little aberration. <laughs> it hasn't stopped. <laughs> so actually, the great thing about being um, seeing the audiences on tour is we're getting all these um, uh, 18 to 25 year olds along. Uh, it's it's like you know you talk about the 70s and 80s. It's the same kind of crowd. They're still going for it, and it's uh, still a, a raging rock show. Mm. Those uh, were heavy days with ACDC, weren't they? Yeah, they were pretty good. Big. <laughs> Well, and I mean, this tour is pretty full on too. We're doing um, about 30 dates in, in 34 days, I think. Yes, you're in Warrnambool tonight. That's right. Is that right? Yeah. Warrnambool. Lots of dates around the country. Tell me, you're also, you've, you know, in the last 20 years, it's not only the serious rock and roll, we've just heard a, a different feel, which is uh, on the new CD, but you're into uh, neurolinguistics. Mm -hmm. Explain that to them. Well, probably somebody in your NLP is going to say this is all wrong, but it, for me it's about communication and it um, helps you effectively uh, um, neuros to do with the kind of words you use to yourself in programming, so you pattern your behavior. Is it what, so, like positive thinking? Uh, a little bit, but the, sort of words that, the words that you use can, um, for example, uh, you might be saying, um, I might pick up from how you're speaking that you use words like, um, oh yes, I see, if you're answering something. Um, or I can hear what you're saying. Well, then I would talk to you and, and I'd use words that were visual words if I thought you were a visual person so you'd understand better what you're talking about. Hmm. So it's a communication skill. Give me an example of what I've just said in the last 30 seconds then. Or well, your, your impression of it. Well, you, that's why I said C, because I think you're using quite a lot of visual words. Hmm. So if I were talking to you, I'd say that's what NLP is about. Do you see? Visually? <laughs> I imagine you'd get a picture in your head. Mm, yeah. Exactly. That's a very different you? tack for you. Yes, yes. Right. yes. Um, yeah. That's a very different tack for a rock and roller. Not really. It's, I mean, as a songwriter, it's it's pretty uh, useful how people behave and sort of see what people do. Mm. That's why it interests me. Well, one and ball tonight. Here's the, uh, here's the CD. We'll be checking your behavior. Yes, two CDs out at the moment. <laughs> Check it at the door. Uh, the Evidence album and the uh, the Heart Evidence Tour EP. I've got that one here. Hold on. Which, uh, the Tour uh, EP is, is only for sale at, at concerts. Is it's it? It's not for sale in retail shops. Okay. So. so just have a look around. A few more concerts uh, and Melbourne gigs around the place. Doc Neeson joins us this morning.